My name is Kevin Tokoff. In this video, we're going to discuss the acid-fast test and the theory behind it. All right, so what is an acid-fast organism? An acid-fast organism is one that is characterized by wax-like, nearly impermeable cell walls, which contain mycolic acid and large amounts of fatty acids, waxes, and complex lipids. Okay. It's important to understand that acid-fast organisms are highly resistant to disinfectants in dry conditions, and they require special staining techniques. So sometimes they can be, uh, it can be a problem to do some uh, tests on them for determining um, their identity. And it's important to be able to identify acid-fast organisms because a great example of one is myobacterium. Myobacterium are actually known to cause tuberculosis, which makes this a clinically relevant technique. So acid fast can be used to identify myobacterium and another example is nocardium. Okay, so potentially pathogenic bacteria. All right, so how exactly does the acid fast test work? Well, the theory behind it is very similar to a gram stain. Okay, except the primary stain that we're going to use is called carbol fusion. Okay, carbol fusion, which is shown right here, is red. Okay, so initially what we're going to do to every organism is we're going to stain them with carbol fusion. Okay, and everything, regardless of whether it's acid fast or non-acid fast, is going to stain red. However, very similar to what we did in the gram stain, we're going to use a decolorizer. And the decolorizer is going to remove the carbol fusion from any non-acid fast organism. So after this second step, a non-acid fast organism will have no color, but acid fast organisms retain that carbol fusion. Uh, the carbol fusion is able to intercalate into their cell walls, which to most things are nearly impermeable. Um, and that carbol fusion stain stays in those cell walls very well, okay? Like such as in the cell walls of myo myobacterium and nocardium. And then, in a similar way to what we did in the gram stain, we're going to use a counter stain. In this case, the counter stain is methylene blue. This is methylene blue. And the counter stain will only stain non-acid fast organisms. So any non-acid fast organism will stain blue, and acid fast organisms will stain red. Okay? Um, this is basically reiterating what I just said. The primary stain, carbol fusion, um, is able to penetrate into the uh, cell walls of acid fast organisms, especially when you add heat, you decolorize and then use methylene blue. And so your end result, which we'll look at on this slide, is that acid fast organisms stain red and non-acid fast organisms stain blue. Here's a slide depicting a mixture of both of them. Here is A right here. We see blue anywhere where we see blue. That is gonna be a non-acid fast organism. If we see where we have the red, which here's a good example right here, B, that's gonna be an acid fast organism. Potentially it could be myobacterium or nocardium. So if this was coming from some kind of patient, uh, you might wanna do further tests to make sure they, see whether or not they have tuberculosis or something like that, okay? So acid fast can be a very important diagnostic tool for certain conditions. Make sure to watch the demonstration of this technique and thank you for watching.